Netflix original Raat Akeli Hai. If the title makes you wonder whether the film might feature a lady in white walking long corridors with a candle in hand, you might not be the one to blame, but this movie will disappoint. Because this film doesn't feature ghosts, but rather murders. The director tricks you in many more ways. The first murder of the movie and a few scenes that follow remind one of the infamous Uttar Pradesh mafia, police and politician nexus. To add to this presumption, the cast also includes Nawazuddin. This is all but a setup to trick the audience into a false presumption yet again. The film does include the UP police and politician, but it's a classic murder mystery. An elderly influential politician is murdered on the night of his second marriage. Nawazuddin Siddiqui plays a sub-inspector of the local police station. He investigates cases with a swag and calls an assembly to order to give a dramatic reveal to the classic whodunit. For obvious reasons, I shall not disclose the culprit here, but if you are a fan of the classic detective novels like Agatha Christie, you might like this film. If your perception of murder mystery involves every second of the film packed with riveting anticipation, which concludes in a shocking plot twist, then this film will fail to satisfy your expectations yet again. Then again, it doesn't exactly lead the audience to the conclusion with hints along the way to allow them to praise themselves for being able to work out the murder mystery. Here, the film follows its own pace without investing in trying to guide the audience to the major reveal. The director focuses more on the cinematic journey than unveiling the mystery. The film isn't unnecessarily rushed, isn't packed with incessant suspense, it reveals the relationships among the members of an aristocratic family and their dark secrets in a timed pace. Parallel to the mystery, a romance develops between Nawaz and Radhika. The audience becomes more invested in the outcome of this romance than unveiling the identity of the murderer. The aesthetic Loki cinematography complements the dark mood of the film. Shooting at original locations lends an authentic look. A background score that complements the film well ties it all together. In fact, it even manages to make up for it when the screenplay lags a bit in the second half. Nawazuddin Siddiqui's character in the film is very carefully crafted. A common cop who is a bit heroic in his bearing with a woke image. He feels like a minor extension of his previous characters. Radhika's outcome at the end of the story is rather relieving because characters like her either commit suicide or get murdered by the villain in an attempt to save the hero in older films. Ila Arun gives a comic surprise package in the film. The credit for the flawlessly fleshed out supporting characters goes to director Hani Trehan, who is in fact an established casting director <coughs> and has been assistant director to both Vishal Bharadwaj and Abhishek Chaube's famous films. Honey has exhibited quite some potential in his first film. But has it been the reason for him to play it so safe with the ending? The film was realistic throughout, but was the very contrasting victory of good over evil and feel-good conclusion really that necessary? If the OTT platform doesn't feel safe enough, what does? In conclusion, Raat Akeli Hai is quite a different experience than your average murder mystery. Watch the film and let us know what you think in the comments. Promote good films and throw the bad ones in the bin.